You've seen the videos of brazen smash and grabs like these, yeah. often carried out in broad daylight. It's an absolute threat. A Chicago area Louis Vuitton raided by 14 hooded suspects, making off with over $100,000 worth of luxury items. A flash mob style heist at an Oakland area Nordstrom. Hey! This New York jewelry store, windows smashed in with hammers. Federal authorities and retailers are now sounding the alarm about the growing danger of organized retail crime that is sweeping the country. They know exactly what stores to hit, what um, businesses and residents to hit, when and where. Coordinated groups are targeting stores, millions of dollars worth of goods. Retailers say they're growing more violent, putting shoppers and workers at risk, sometimes with tragic consequences. What goes through your mind when you realize that your dad was essentially killed over three power washers? You can't imagine that any piece of equipment in Home Depot is worth a life. When you saw the video of what happened to your dad, what was going through your mind? Wish it would have been me. Authorities say organized retail crime is large-scale theft of mostly high-value items from handbags to power tools, which are often then illegally resold online on sites like Amazon, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, or Craigslist. Amazon, eBay, and Facebook prohibit the sale of stolen goods on their sites and have said that they take measures to help ensure that. They're very much organized in the sense that they're doing it for the profit. Obviously, the profit profitability is the key here. Companies say this type of crime is reaching unprecedented levels, jumping more than 26% in 2021 and forcing the average family to pay an estimated $500 more each year on goods. It's growing double digit year over year. This is professional shoplifting. 100%. Big box stores like the Home Depot have been hit especially hard. They tell us they're investigating hundreds of cases this past year alone and losing billions. The retail giant opening up to ABC News showing us exactly what's being targeted. You have a special name for this part of the store. Yeah, this is our, this is what we refer to our billion dollar aisles, billions and billions of dollars worth of sales in this product. And then about a third of our uh, losses from a theft and frauds perspective come from, you know, power tools, particularly. Thieves are taking anything from leaf blowers to metal wire. And how much is a spool like that worth? A full spool can range anywhere from $1,000 to upward of about $3,500. In April, three people were arrested in connection with an organized retail crime operation that allegedly targeted targeted California Home Depots, authorities recovering $75,000 worth of stolen goods. Why do you believe that you've seen such an uptick? COVID aside and the pandemic aside, which kind of emboldened some people wearing masks, there's the online proliferation. But about 90% of our organized retail crime cases involve some type of online selling platform. Opioids and fentanyl continuing to drive the need for fast cash. And Homeland Security officials say the organizations have suspected ties to drug trafficking and terrorism financing. There are crime syndicates that could be tied to local gang networks that maybe have established uh, networks either from the Chilean or Colombian threats or Romanian crews coming in from Eastern European that are comfortable in certain cities. According to the company, this one crew robbed various stores more than 20 times, allegedly stealing a total of $135,000 in merchandise. At least two of them have since been arrested on robbery and larceny charges. Their cases are pending. We are looking at these folks who do this for a living, impact us on a regular basis, and build